My name is Dr. Shrikant Murli Krishnan. I work as a senior consultant hematologist and hemato oncologist at Apollo Cancer Center, Tenampet, in Chennai, and Apollo Main Hospital, Greens Road, Chennai. Today, I would like to discuss about the most dreaded word, leukemia. Leukemia, in its sense, is a bone marrow disorder where it's commonly called as blood cancer. As we all know, the bone marrow produces red cells which carry oxygen, white cells which are responsible to protect you against infection, and platelets which protect you from bleeding. In, in, a, in a cancer, what happens is your bone marrow produces abnormal cells. So all these three cell lines could be either not produced or the white cell could be produced more in number. So what essentially people would experience is symptoms of tired, weakness, that is anemia and symptoms of infection because your white cell count is deficient and bleeding, say for example, when your platelets, which when they go down. So you could end up having bruises or bleeding or suddenly you might end up in the last two days bleeding from your mouth or nose or bruising underneath the skin or you might have a high fever which is not responding to any antibiotics or you might be feeling tired. So it's important you do a blood count and when you do your blood count, if you have abnormalities in that, then you should consult a hematologist. So how we diagnose it, we do a bone marrow test where we give a local anesthesia and we put a small needle, take some fluid out, make some slides and we send off samples to analyze it to the fax scanner. Thereby we confirm the diagnosis of acute leukemia. Now leukemias can be acute or chronic. When I say acute, acute it comes very suddenly and it can kill you if you don't have treatment within a few weeks. Some of them are quite uh, 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 very serious ones where you need to get treated immediately but some of them you can wait where the chronic ones might be there for a long period of time. It might just be picked up uh, incidentally by doing a blood test and then you know the white count is high, you're anemic for a long time. So those type of uh, chronic problems can wait but still they need medical attention. So what happens when you have leukemia? We admit you, we uh, give you the blood product support, what is deficient. We get rid of those abnormal cells by giving you some chemotherapy. You might have to stay in hospital for a few weeks because we clear the bone marrow and then the new cells start regenerating. And then we do a repeat bone marrow to confirm that you are in remission. So what causes these leukemia? Normally there's no any reason, but I think in the olden days when you were exposed to high energy of uh, uh, radiation or atomic energy like the nuclear bombs and things those cause the DNA damage and again people who work in petrochemical industries where they were exposed to benzene and things or aniline dyes there has been some implication again there's nothing like genetic whether if your family member had it you will have it it's, it's something not like that so the best uh, prevention would be regular health checkups seeing your blood counts are fine and also if you do develop any of these symptoms which I told you, then possibly do a blood test and if there's any abnormality, consult your doctor. Thank you.